Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 38, and this is war number 11. We've got one war after this one. And we're going up against an alliance, I cannot read that name, LOL. All right, let's, uh, first let's see who they've banned, okay. Corvus, Hercules, Ghost. So let's go ahead in here see what we got going on now i had a request from someone um in a comment to look at the entire map including the ones on the right that you know i don't really have to deal with because it helps them sometimes with uh placement there you go so hopefully this will Help them out. All right, now I take, on the left-hand side, path three. Let's see, make sure we got the middle in there. Um, I take path three. So, of course, we're gonna be going with uh, Gallon. Um, hmm, Super Scroll. I don't think I've fought uh, Super Scroll with Gallon. I don't think there's a problem. And then we've got Omega Sentinel here. Mad Mardigan has not fought him yet, fought her yet. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, nobody has. Uh... Huh? Okay, yeah. Looks like he has claimed uh, that node. I think he did a typo. It said lad instead of mad. But, all right, so he's going to take that one. And let's see here. All right, so we've got Apocalypse, who's not really that difficult. Um, I could take him with Gallon. That's not a problem. Um, Could also take him with uh, Claire, but... Definitely going to be taking uh, Claire on this path here. And then you got Silver Surfer up there. Could take Silver Surfer. I like taking Silver Surfer with Nick Fury. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, Gallon, Claire. And Nick Fury. That looks like the team for this. And then I can take either one of these uh, minis here. I wonder if I should uh, go ahead and take that apocalypse. Watch him wreck me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. It shouldn't be a problem. But we'll see. If if um if my other alliance may hear uh Dipper, if he doesn't want to take that apocalypse i'll take him but i'll i'll sign up for this silver surfer yeah i think that's the play all right let's get on with the fighting okay so uh we're going in this time without nebula but with nick fury instead and that fight <sighs> wait till we get there that fight was was something else Anyway, so we've got the first fight, and it's against Colossus. Now, if you watched my last war video, you heard me explain that on this particular path, champions that gain armor-ups, that's who you normally want to place on this path. But Gallon will do even better against champions that have armor-ups. And I'm about to show you just what he does when they have lots of armor-ups. So watch this, all right? Look at this. 
I'm doing full five hit combos. Okay, no medium light medium. Look at my planetary mass building up. Okay, just look at this. Now I did a quick one there because I wanted to do a heavy right into my special one. And it's over, just like that. When they get armor ups, I don't have to do any special uh, combo to try to build up because when you're doing a medium light medium, it's to build up your planetary mass faster. But on this path, that's not necessary when they have armor up. I can just go and play normally. And I wasn't doing that in the beginning, but I'm getting more used to the path and gallon. And I think I've got it now. So Super Scroll, I definitely hate fighting, right? But look at this. He's got armor ups. Good. All right. That's great. Come on. Just keep on. There we go. Yep. And then right here, boom. And then go right into it. Fight's over. Done. I think both of those fights took about the same amount of time. Gallon is crazy. On this path, especially, he's nuts. All right, so let me see. How long did that take? 19 seconds. And I believe the first fight was also 19 seconds. Fight. Now, let me tell you, I was sniffing around this Omega Sentinel. I was like, ooh, ooh. But my boy, uh, Mad Mardigan, had already called that particular uh, mini, which he usually takes. So I backed off, said, you go right ahead. Um, and my boy, Dipper, he also <clears throat> called uh, no 24. So I did the uh, third mini, which was the uh, Silver Surfer. All right, so first fight in section two is going to be Terax. And Claire, she she tears up Terax, okay? It's not a big deal. This fight used to be a really big pain, um, just in general, fighting Terax. But once I discovered how good Claire was against Terax, forget about it. I was not scared of him anymore. All right, so I'm just kind of backing off to let the rock field go down. I don't really have to. I always hate his heavy attack. It seems to go quick, you know? But yeah, she's, she's just eating him up. All right, he fired off his special, which I hate, because then I, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna wait for it this time. I'm just going in. So I could have done this before, okay? All right, we let it expire right there, and then boom. And you'll notice her health isn't going down, okay? You know, it went down there because of my recoil, but just look, just tearing him up, okay? So I'm not worried about Terax. As long as I have Claire, Terax is not a problem. All right, so Terax goes down, and we move on. So let me see, this fight... Um, if you watched my previous war, I did this exact same fight. Uh, it didn't go quite the same way as the other one. You know, it happens. You know, this enhanced shock. I'm always like, Ugh, because I can get a shock on me if he has an armor up. But Claire, she nullifies. So, you know, if I'm unlucky, but there we go. We got, we nullified. We didn't get a shock. So... Really, this fight is straightforward. I hated that. Look how much damage that did. He clipped me at the end, and I'm like, are you kidding me? All right, now normally, I would just heal it back up, but you see he has a, a armor up. And I was like, nah, I'm not even gonna do it. We're just gonna chill, okay? So here we go. Now that time I evaded it just fine. That was me just being cheeky because it clipped me the first time and so I was determined to evade it because I could have blocked it. But I was pretty sure that even if it had clipped me a second time, I wouldn't have died. All right, so look at that. I just love that little just a little. And boy, does it hurt. Okay, that one I just, uh, you know, blocked. Didn't care too much about that. All right, here we go. And he just wants to block, that's fine. He gonna, he gonna stop blocking in a minute. There we go. 
and he's down. All right, so not as clean as the uh, fight in the last war, but I'm still standing, and he's not. All good. Now this fight. This fight has some shenanigans. And I knew before going in that there were going to be some shenanigans, okay? Um, you know, I was going to have to deal with this mystic dispersion, which was already going to be a pain. Now, I could have waited until they got the boss down and I wouldn't have had to deal with that and the fight would have been easier for me. But I'm putting on that invulnerability boost for a reason, okay? For a very good reason, you'll see. All right, so here we go. And we're still in our first phase. And you see how much health he's just losing? And now I blocked, and then I forgot and did that. <laughs> I blocked it, and then forgot and evaded the last part. I should have just blocked all of that because I wouldn't have had to deal with that mystic dispersion. All right, so here we go. Boom, boom. So much glancing, so much glancing. All right? And just look at this, look at this, look at this. Boom. And I wouldn't have cared because I still had the invulnerability if I pushed him to a special uh, three, which I probably should have done just to make my life easier. You see, I blocked all of that. And then he parried me. How did that happen? How did he parry me like that? And now, of course, I've got to deal with the Mystic Dispersion. Fight should have been over a long time ago. Ooh, that pissed me off. I was just like, okay, I'm blocking it. So I blocked, block, 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 went in, and he parried me? I was just like, see, that's why I put on that invulnerability boost for any kind of mess like that. Don't parry me so fast like that after um, he, he recovered so quickly. Anyway, that was it uh, for my participation in this war. And we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, I'm actually um, really happy that we did. This war was pretty close. Let me show you guys. Um, it was it was a pretty close war all the way up until the end. All right. Not that many points difference. OK, but we needed this win to secure Platinum three. So we had a little bit of wiggle room for the final war. We're still going to, you know, play properly for the final war. But if we had lost this war, we were in danger of slipping to Platinum Four. So we really wanted to win this war. So we won it. We should have no problem in Platinum Three. Winning the last war will just be icing on the cake. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.